you know, you come back in 20 years, you come to Latham Park, you know, your career statistics aren't going to be on the outfield wall, but a conference championship could be. So that first game, you know, is it's an unbelievable opportunity because you're going against guys that you've played multiple times and they know you, you know them. And Uh, going down to Charleston, we always enjoy that trip. We knew that they were going to be a pretty tough team to play. Um, it, we knew they were going to be one of the contenders in the conference. So we knew that we had to go down there and um, just mean business and get after it. Went in there on Friday. You know, offensively, we didn't play you know, the way we could play. Brnovich competed and you know he had a great game going. Unfortunately, it didn't go our way and you know started off 0-1 in conference. But uh, I mean, Saturday and Sunday were an unbelievable bounce back for us. Saturday, go out there. Obviously, Kirby gives us a great start. We get some runs going for him and we come out with a victory. And then Sunday was probably one of the best team victories uh, I've ever been a part of here at Elon. We go up big, four nothing in the first inning. Um, unfortunately, they come back on us, they kind of fight back. And then we have two guys, three guys come off the bench, Tyler Stanley, the big single, uh, Jared Pico off the bench, pinch hit, huge spot against a good closer. And then Jack Roberts, you know, adds on another insurance RBI single for us, all three of those guys off the bench at the time. So that was really just a team win. And I think it just comes down to, we knew our goal going into the weekend, you gotta win weekends, especially on the road. And uh, just the buy-in from all the guys that were on the bench and just being ready to go next man up was huge. For the corner of Hagen and Williams into the Information Superhighway, we say good evening on a picturesque Friday night as the Phoenix return back home to Walter C. Latham, hoping to make it three straight CAA wins in the books as they welcome in the James Madison Dukes. This one lifted to left center in pursuit is the center fielder. Cam Devaney, the Amherst native, make it three straight games with a home run in league play in the Phoenix and knotted things up at three. Running Oldham up throwing in time, got it. Goodbye. Good shot right over the top of the academy side. Yeah! yeah. Capper, Capper. Oh, Gotta be there, Sperling! Gotta be there! Yeah, we knew, we knew it would be very important for us to get that first game, the Friday game, because um, that would give us some momentum going into the uh, Saturday and Sunday game. And Saturday, you know, George goes out there and, again, does what George does. Having him on the mound is just so good for us because we know that he's going to be locked in. You know that he's going to do everything in his power to get the guys out. Kirby looks in, comes set. Here's the 0-2.
the thing you learn about conference play, we learned it last year finishing second, was every game matters. You know, it doesn't matter if you're up 2 nothing in the series, because that third game could be the difference in being a you know, two seed or winning the conference and getting that bye. Drive one deep, the left, back, 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 and gone. Home run, center field. Simone's gone! So I think with the, the gold standard, what it means for me and kind of looking at the Elon baseball team, I think it just represents who we are as a team. Not taking a playoff, uh, not taking a day off, because, you know, we were lucky to get to play this game and at the level we get to play it, and then, you know, hopefully continue to play it for years to come. But the gold standard for the Phoenix is playing hard every day and, not, and never taking a playoff. Anymore.